we don't care that they voted for Hillary. We don't care that they, we actually don't care that they believe in abortion. We don't care. We believe, we believe that abortion is murder. Why can't they stay in a lane and agree to disagree? They never can do it. Does anybody have an explanation of why people are doing this? I think, yeah. oh, go ahead. I think they're missing something. I think they needed a hug from somebody. They needed a, a little, you know, hey, hey, buddy. They needed that from somebody and they didn't get it. So now they're looking at it, looking for it from us. I mean, they've got to be missing something because I can't put into words how little I care about their personal medical decisions or who they voted for. Now, if we're having a discussion or a debate, we can talk about it. But once that debate is completed, I'm not going to carry it. It's not going to be personal. I'm not going to treat you differently. It's it, it's just not that serious. I'm confident in my life. I have all of this. I have the things I need from the people in my life. So I don't need to look to people outside of my life for that. And it's I, I feel really bad for them. But to lose sleep over what somebody else is doing, as long as it's not costing me any money or time or endangering me, I could really care less. I, I, I'm good. I don't I don't need any outside pats on the back, any outside support, like emotionally, I'm good. And they're not, they need it and they're going to get it. Yeah, I, I think, go ahead, Oliver. No, I was going to say, I, I think that the left has tied a lot of their political ideology to who they are as a person. So it's ingrained within them. So if they believe that they're for abortion, then they think that makes them a good person. So if you're against it, then the opposite of that is you're a bad person. They believe they voted for Biden because that makes them a good person because they said Trump was racist. So anybody who votes against that is now a bad person. So I think because of the media, because this is not a new phenomenon. We used to, 10 years ago, we could have conversations between left and right and there was never any animosity or anything like that. But because of the, the environment that, that the media has created to where they have pitted us, us against ourselves, and talking about these political ideologies and making the other side think that they're evil, like they're wrong. So that's why we have what we have today. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Uh, go ahead, ABL. I think there's also a cultural bullying because it's like, I can bully you if you believe a different way than I believe. That That's kind of what's going on. So they don't even really care. It's like, well, this is, I'm not wrong in what I'm doing. I'm not wrong to attack you because you're doing the wrong thing. And a lot of that comes from the mainstream media because of how they bully people when they don't agree with what's going on. But when they do, they want to give them praise. So as long as you're on the good side, it's all good. But when she go on the bad side, here comes the bully and here comes the shaming and the name calling. That's what they do. And the, the reason why they bully on certain things is because a lot of it comes from popular culture mainstream media they tell them to do that they, they're programmed to act that way when you watch an ms13 dnc i mean ms nbc you're watching all these alphabet letter leftist channels they're going to tell you hey you know what if you're not vaccinated you're dangerous you're going to be um a burden upon society you're going to be in the icu for 25 years and you never leave and somebody's going to have a heart attack and they can't get a room because you're in there. They they're internalizing all this stuff. So then when you come, you're like the 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 match lighting the whole thing on fire that's already been burned inside of them, that's been placed there by the mainstream media. So that's kind of what's going on. A cultural bullying that's fostered and fed by the mainstream media and popular culture. Well, let me let me add this, man. I think it's the 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 concept of virtue signaling, man. Like people, they don't feel that they have value and self-worth and confidence. So what they do is they attach that confidence to these things that can make them feel virtuous, meaning that if I wear a mask, and I, I'm a nobody. Nobody cares about me. I've never done nothing special in my life. But if I wear a mask in the grocery store, I am more virtuous than half of the people in this grocery store. I'm better than them. Look, I, look at me. Look at me. I'm a I'm, I'm doing something special. Or yep. if they, you know, and you know, they're cowards. I've never been confronted about wearing a mask ever. But when they confront people. They're like, I'm doing I'm doing justice. Like all of the things that they want to say, all of the bullying they wanted they wanted to do when they were in school, all of that comes out now by being emboldened by some of this mm -hmm. stuff that the government has put in their hands. And I think the government is psychologically aware that if they push this on people, they can get us to fight each other because you have the people who are the lowest IQ people, which is mostly people on the left, 
if they feel a little bit of empowerment, they will try to bully us, and then we're not going to take it, so we're going to fight back. They know that dynamic, and they push it on us. Yeah, and you know, you and if and um, by the same token, if they are so virtuous and they are such good people because they do get vaccinated and they do wear two masks and they do make their mom get a COVID test before they come over for dinner. On the other hand, if you don't do that, then you might as well be going around to these ICUs and pulling the plugs out. You want people to die. You are killing people. You are going into their homes and suffocating them in their sleep because you don't want to wear a mask or you don't want to get an experimental vaccination. And that it, uh, it couldn't be further from the truth. I am concerned with myself and mine. Worry about yourself and yours, period. What, what, I, and again, like we were both saying, it's because they have a lack, lack of self-confidence and self-worth, so they have to get it elsewhere. And if they can attach it to something that has this mainstream media machine behind it, this federal government, state government, local government machine behind it, then I can just get onto that. And now I do have confidence. The strength in numbers are part of a gang now. They weren't, they're not that weak little kid being picked on on the way to school. They got a gang now. So now they're tough. Now they're going to come confront you. Now they're going to start saying stuff and doing things to people. And it is crazy. They, I don't think these people realize, and I know we use this term a lot in many different ways, but decent people, conservative people, people who aren't crazy like them, are a sleeping giant. And they are only going to take so much of this. They're not going to have no weak little pencil neck punk dork getting in their face. Remember that video from last year? The dudes were somewhere and they pull their mask down to eat. And some girl comes up to him, like slaps them in the face and throws a drink in their face. Girl, are you trying to get your boyfriend bodied right now? <laughs> what do I you bodied, mean? Bodied a, I bodied the whole family, which I want to do. <laughs> you know what what is in somebody's mind where they can go up to a perfect stranger and do things to them? What is, do you never have any older siblings? Don't you know what happened? You ever been beat up? Are you crazy? You don't, you don't know what's on people's mind. Just like us talking about divorce and stuff. What's to say this dude who maybe he just got his life ruined and he's not thinking about no damn mask, but here you go with your pink hair and your, your pocket full of, you know, social justice warrior. And you're going to approach this dude. You, these people, there's something wrong with them and they're not going to under, it's like a bully, just like any other bully. What do bullies understand? Bullies don't understand. Leave me alone. I'm not messing with you. What's your problem? Why don't we be friends? They don't understand that. They understand knuckles. That's what they understand. They understand force. Like these barbarians we're dealing with in the world. They understand force. So unfortunately, at some point, we're going to get sick of this. We're going to get tired of it. And we're going to do something about it. And we, But when we do, oh, you're a phobe. You're an ist. Why did you do that? You didn't have to. No, you didn't have to come in my face. You didn't have to throw a drink on me or whatever. This this crazy stuff we see on the Internet. One of these times you guys are going to do that to the wrong person. And it's going to be all oh, bad. Man. Remember the video of that that Australian bully? And he messed with that kid and that kid picked him up and slammed him on his head. And he had the baby, the baby horse legs for a few minutes. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Beware the baby horse legs. <laughs> you about to get that my pillow and baby legs. <laughs> but this, this is, you know, like, I'm just saying, like, if anybody watching this, if you think you're going to try me in public, don't do it. <laughs> don't, 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 don't think I, I don't discriminate. I'm, I'm an equal opportunist. I treat everybody yeah. fairly under God. We're all God's children. So you're going to get you could get that work no matter who you are. Yep. You better not put your hand on me and come confront me about no mask. That's going you're going to be in trouble. I don't condone violence. But look, don't put your hands on me or you're going to take a massive L.